Now in Business Central, it is a multi-currency platform with potential local currency and recording currencies or transacting between currencies with the purchase and sale documents. Um, it's capable out of the box. Okay. So how do you get the currencies to work? Well, to start with, you need, uh, let's take a look at currencies. And in currencies, you need something called an exchange rate service. So all of these will not update. They will not update automatically unless we turn around and connect an exchange rate service. Let's go take a look. Under exchange rate services, I have added two connectors here, being that a lot of my audience are in Australia and a lot are in the USA, which this float rate's configured for. So let's go take a look at a connector. So here in Australia, we have the ability to have the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia. Australia They offer a free um, rate checking service, and um, it's available on this address here. Uh, if you take a screenshot of my setup here, you'll be able to cop copy this and make this work fairly easily. We're going to go do the same. And so I'm going to delete this um, RBA exchange rate and we're going to add it from scratch. So let's go, go take a look. We hit new. We name it. just to create something a little bit different. I'm just going to post in the Reserve Bank of Australia. We have our address for the service URL. So whichever service you're using, you have to turn around and put this service URL in. You've got the ability to turn around and put some more information here like um, it's the Reserve Bank of Australia and this is the web address of how you configure it. Now, effectively, what this is giving you then is for the currency code, where are we pulling it from? And so this maps in and pulls up all of the XML data that's currently observed through the current address that's been published. And so there's there's a bunch of stuff that you, you can do there. I'm just going to run with what I've already mapped and I'm just going to paste that in. And it's super important that for the exchange rate amount, we need to put a one in the default value. So now I've added this, I'm not enabling it yet. I just want to preview it. It's now connected and it's pulled in. All of these currencies are available through the RBA connector. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what does that mean? Let's go back. Let's enable. We've got to agree to Microsoft's terms of service and you know, privacy, etc. Let's just hit accept. And then it creates job queue. So a job queue entry for daily update of exchange rate has been created. Do you wish do you wish to open it? Yes. So I can change and set a specific time in a day when this will run and trigger as a job queue to turn around and update the um, to update the exchange rates in the system. So now I've done this, <clears throat> I'm going to go back and we want to update exchange rates. I'm going to hit update. And some of these now, as of today, as you can see here, the Euro, let's go to here filter to this value oh, I can't do that all right so basically the ones that have the six of the first which is the date of the recording of this video they are now all updated so USD that's the current exchange rate as of this moment 
And you can have multiple exchange rate services enabled depending on which is apparent, uh, applicable for which currency that you're wanting to turn around and maintain a rate on.